What's up everyone, welcome back. Today we're looking at the VCC 80-30. That's a that's a mouthful. It's the older brother to the Dardo, or according, according to Gaijin's dev blog on it, it's the older brother. It's the newer one, so shouldn't it be the younger brother? Let me know in the comments. Do you think it's the younger or older brother? That being said, the tank itself, the turret is very similar to the Type 89, but the characteristics itself are very similar to the M3A3 Chadley. In the, it has full complement of dart rounds, as well as the rate of fire. It has 200, the Chadley has 201, not that big of a difference. The Chadley does have a faster turret rotation, but when your vehicle's like this, 30 degrees a second is still pretty dang fast. The big picture here though is that it does have the tow 2Bs, which if you don't know what those are, the tow 2Bs are a proximity detonation round, which are really good for taking out somebody who's in cover or something that just ran away from you and you can't get a hit on. But it also comes with the tow 2As, which are a tandem warhead. So they as you can see by the animation, they detonate and blow off the ERA, the armor panels, and then that secondary round comes through and hits the armor and hits the crew and does all the destruction. That's nice at 9.7 because there's a lot, a lot of things that suddenly have armor panels. So while we have used the TOW 2Bs in the past, I think the TOW 2As are going to be the mainstay for this vehicle. Armor is, you know, pretty much what you would expect from an I expect from an IFV. We don't have all the other bells and whistles, but its base characteristics are pretty dang good to begin with. It's not the fastest, but it it can get up and go. And for the most part, just starting out, I think that at 9.7, it is a very capable vehicle. So if you're in the path to getting it and you're you're close, I I'd go for it. Fighting the the Russian armor with the Toto A's is satisfying. It is just you hit them, and if you've hit them before with a AGM, you know like oh you'll blow off some armor panels and they'll deflect it. But with the Toto A's, it's pretty much just like you know you're gonna do something substantial. Now the downside to the A's hitting something like an Abrams or something with just thick armor like that is gonna be kind of problematic so you're gonna want to be careful with that being said let's get to the video what am i fighting against okay okay and okay yeah that's doable totally doable just I just need to be careful with the road over here. Number of times I've gone up this road, the one right here, and I just get slaughtered. This kind of reminds me of that uh, that one spot. Oh, the Oslet. Somebody's gonna bring a helicopter. They're gonna die. I think I want to sit here and watch the trees. Dang it. I don't think I can see. Oh, I might be able to see if he pushes to the north. Another zone captured. We have the advantage. We have most of the zones. Nailed it. Thanks. I agree. That fence I knew was going to screw me over, though. Come 
fence is messing me up. Hide and repair. Repairing. It's on this side, guys. Attention to the designated grid square. Well done. Well done. I don't even know what I damaged on him. I feel like I hear something. Artillery around coming from the sky. So I don't like about fighting on this side over here is there's so much debris to try to work through. Oh yeah, that's not going to work. Oslo's gonna have to protect. Oslo? Yeah. That's what's still over there.
All these fences. Five around here somewhere. The light forces have spooky captured stuff. The spooky stuff. Gotta love that I, yeah. I like how the solution was take the tow tube and just shove it in a metal casing and call it good. That's some, that's some ingenuity right there. Attack the D point! So I haven't used the Dardo yet, and since this is the big brother to the Dardo, I feel like uh, I might be missing out on something. Nailed it. Crud. The enemy controls most of the strategic zones. Okay, that was, that was scary. one map where the toe two bees would really really be an advantage but I don't really think that it's gonna be something that's uh 
attention to the designated grid zone! Got that. I think I'm not gonna worry about that ramp. I'm worry about up here. Now the one thing to note is that uh you know the launcher on the right side goes first. See it. No, no, it's there. The victory is near. Just the left side the fire switch, not the right side. One of them the right side fires first. I don't I can't keep track. There's danger around every corner. I think that's dead. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's not anything. Check the ramp. Okay, that is friendly. Okay. Has he got him? Okay, he's got him. Cool. I think they're kind of collapsing. Let's check the hill. Hill sniper positions are clear. Oh yeah, that one's dead. Guess he got shot at from somewhere. Dead. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I can. This guy peeks. Mm, I'm not going to waste one of my few missiles on him. F 56 is playing. I love wasting missiles on something I could have just destroyed. I honestly didn't know what it was until I hit him with the shrapnel. Just 
question is, where is he gonna go? Got it. Okay. That's friendly. Okay, we have friendly A4. We're doing okay. We're gonna reload. And, um... Missiles, baby. We need missiles. Do I get one at a time, or do they come in a pair? Oh, they come in a pair. Nice. That's his job. I'm thinking that the, I might, once we get the upgrade, I might bring a mix of TOE 2Bs and TOE 2As, but I'm, I'm kind of a big fan with the TOE 2As at the moment at 9.7. They're really good. But let me know in the comments below what, uh, which one you like, which one you think you're going to bring. I think, I think we're going to call that a GG, unless there's something on the other side of this hill, but we're pretty much covered here. We've got quite a few guys. Left while they don't have... I mean, I'm not going to push up on that hill, so... Yep. Yeah. That's GG's. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you have a great day and enjoy all the new vehicles.